shouldn't you also have had mercy on your fellow servant, even as I had mercy on you? Matthew 18, 33. Dear God, we mess up so many times. We know we are sinners and we need your forgiveness every day. Thank you for taking the punishment that we deserved. Please give us the strength to forgive others the way you forgive us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for praying with us today. The Kids Bible in a Year podcast is sponsored by Little Passports, delivering monthly activity kit subscriptions that help kids explore the world, cultivate curiosity, and discover new interests with hands-on crafts and activities in cooking, science, crafts, and more, all with a unique cultural twist. Visit littlepassports.com blessed to learn more and save 20% with code blessed. Continue to forgive. In our last story, Jesus told the story of the rich man and Lazarus. In this story, we will learn about the importance of forgiveness and how much to forgive, as inspired by the Gospels. Julianne Thompson here, guest hosting for Julia Jeffress Sadler. I'm glad you're back for another story from the Kids Bible in a Year podcast. Today, Jesus is telling another parable, and this story is going to teach us a lot about forgiveness. We're going to hear how a servant learned a hard lesson. Listen close, and I'll meet you on the other side. Peter asked Jesus, If someone does something wrong to me, how many times do I need to forgive them? Is it seven times? Jesus said, You need to forgive them seventy times times seven. This is how it is in the kingdom of God. Listen, there is a king who wanted his servants to pay back all the money they owed him. One servant owed the king 1,000 bags of gold, but he did not have that much. So the king said that his wife and children needed to be sold so he could pay it back. The man cried, please, I beg you to give me more time. I will pay you all that I owe. I just do not have all of the money to pay you back at this moment. The king felt bad and had pity towards the servant, so he said that he didn't need to pay him back anymore. He allowed the servant to leave and told him not to worry about paying it back. The servant left and found a fellow servant who owed him only 100 silver coins. He began to choke him and demanded that he get his money. The servant fell down and said, Please, let me have more time and I will pay it back. The man refused and had him thrown into prison until he could pay him back. Other servants saw what had happened and this made them very mad. They went to the king and told him everything they had just seen. The king had the servant brought back in and said, You evil man, I let you leave and not have to pay me because you had cried out to me. Why didn't you show that same kindness to your fellow servant? The king was mad and had the man put in jail until he could pay back all he owed. This is how God will treat you if you do not forgive. That is why you must forgive your brothers and sisters. God is always willing to forgive us, so we must be willing to forgive others at all times. Well, it sounds like God's paying attention to how we treat each other. We open today with a question from Peter. He was never afraid to say or ask anything. Jesus, how many times do I need to forgive someone who does something to me? Seven? Many Jewish rabbis at the time said that you should forgive someone three times, but no more than that. But as he loved to do, Jesus surprised Peter with his answer when he said, no, you should forgive 70 times seven. 
Now, I don't think Jesus was expecting Peter to get out his pencil and do a math problem. This was just a way of telling Peter that you should keep on forgiving and keep on forgiving and keep on forgiving. In other words, as part of God's kingdom, we should always forgive. Then we heard Jesus explain this lesson in a parable about a master and his servant. The servant owed 1,000 bags of gold, which was basically worth millions of dollars. Of course, this debt was way too big and the servant would never have enough money to pay back the master. The master knew this, but instead of making him sell his family and try to come up with all that money, Jesus said the master felt bad for his servant and had compassion on him. He forgave him and said, Never mind, you don't, you don't have to pay me back. Then we heard how that same servant left and found someone who owed him money. But it was much smaller amount than what he owed the master. The servant grabbed this person by the throat as if he was going to choke him and demanded that he pay back the money. But wait, the servant had just been forgiven such a huge debt. Why was he being so mean to someone who owed him a smaller amount of money? Didn't he realize how much he had been forgiven himself? Apparently not, because he had the man thrown into prison. But guess who found out about it? The master, and he was not happy. He said, I forgave you, but you chose not to forgive someone else. And because of that, you're going to be punished. In the same way, God has forgiven us so much. It's funny because many times we don't really see our own sin. We ignore, forget, or make excuses for the things we do that are wrong or disobedient to God. But so often, just like the master did with his servant, God sees us and knows that we can never make up for all of our sin. We could never pay back that huge debt. We would have to be punished forever and ever and ever to make up for the wrong things we do every day. Things like lying, being unkind, being disrespectful, cheating, gossiping, and much more. But that's why Jesus came. He came to pay that punishment for us and wipe away all of our sins. Isn't that the best news ever? So Jesus is saying, if I am taking care of all of your sins, showing you compassion and grace and giving you forgiveness, I want you to forgive those who sin against you. Let's all take some time today to think about someone who we might need to forgive. Maybe someone did something unkind to you and you don't even realize that you're still really mad about it. You're angry and you don't want to forgive that person for what they did. In these moments, think about this story and this servant and with God's strength, make a choice to forgive whoever hurt you. But I'm not just talking about saying it, I'm talking about meaning it from your heart. Then thank God in your heart for the forgiveness he gives you so freely every day. Thanks for listening. Jesus is going to tell us a super important story next time about a man beaten up on the side of the road and how he wants us to treat others. Be sure to come back and hear about it. Here we go. The Bible is the best story ever told. It's God's story to you and it's all true. Do we add some extra sparkle to your day? Let us know with a review and guide more families to experience the same joy you felt. Thanks for listening to Pray.com Kids Bible in a Year. For more inspiring stories and wisdom to last a lifetime, download the Pray.com app for free today. Thanks for listening to Kids Bible in a Year. I want to invite our adult listeners to check out my other show, Unapologetic, God's Truth on Today's Topics. It's unfiltered, important, inspiring, and we have awesome conversations and amazing guests such as Candace Cameron Bray, Vice President Mike Pence, Dr. Robert Jeffress, Shannon Bream, Maddie Pruitt, and so many others. We are helping you have conversations that empower you to have bold faith in a broken world. You'll be excited, inspired, and encouraged in your faith as you check out Unapologetic. Remember that you can tune in wherever you get your podcasts and on Pray.com.